I am excited. I am. It can be a spectacle like no other. We're all in. Yeah, it should be a great day. And right now, it's all the buzz. We're going to make a day of it. Maybe the weekend. Eclipse mania is sweeping the nation. It's pretty dramatic. Uh, a total solar eclipse is a very uh, unique event because the moon, by a strange coincidence, happens to be exactly the same apparent size in our sky as the sun. Of course, the moon's much smaller than the sun, but it's also a lot closer, and it's just at precisely the right distance that it blocks out the sun while leaving the area immediately around the sun, which means that we get to see the solar atmosphere called the corona. Five major U.S. cities will be in the path of totality. That's the 115-mile-wide track falling under the moon's central shadow. Not only, of course, does it get dark because the body of the sun is no longer visible uh, and even noticeably colder, but we have this remarkable display. And uh, it's often said that animals like birds will be fooled into thinking that night has fallen quite quickly. The roughly four-minute spectacle has had some state leaders preparing for months. We're expecting about a million extra people from that Thursday night, the 4th, through uh, Tuesday, the 9th. As a result, many schools in Arkansas and other states are canceling classes. Texas officials are even warning residents to top off their gas tank and stock up on food. In Ohio, the governor signed an executive order to increase staffing for emergency management. They're all treating the April late eclipse like a major travel holiday. Any way you cut it, the interstates and highways are going to be crowded. More than 31 million people will be in the path of totality when the eclipse passes over North America. As exciting as it is for us today, eclipses took on a much different tone in ancient times. The ancient people saw celestial phenomenon as omens. Using a dating system that intersects NASA data with the ancient Assyrian calendar, Associates for Bible Research say it shows an eclipse passed over Nineveh in mid-8th century B.C. That event was preceded and followed by a series of natural disasters. And lo and behold, what does the Bible show us? Immediately after this, a renegade prophet named Jonah shows up, and he's preaching repentance at a time when they would be open to it that normally they wouldn't because of the omen. Stripling says the same dating method shows a celestial spectacle happening in 33 A.D. on April the 3rd, approximately the same time the Gospels record the earth turning dark the day of Jesus' crucifixion. Picture this. As the stone is, is rolling to, to seal the tomb, on the horizon, the moon is beginning to appear, and guess what? It's a lunar eclipse. Listen. Ancient people would have, would have been powerfully impacted by this. However you feel the impact from this event, countless people worldwide will have an eye to the sky April 8 to see something that has been drawing awe since time began. I've got to get some glasses. I don't know where to get them. Paul Petit, CBN News. Any day's a good day to pair those glasses with a sermon of repentance, Gordon. Yes, it is. But the, the, the moon and the sun are signs, and you can read that in the Bible. It's in chapter 1 of the first book, Genesis, and it's verse 14, that these things are signs for us, and, and signs for years, and for days, and for months, and for seasons. There's also the sign of uh, when, the, when the sun no longer gives forth its light, and the moon no longer gives forth its light. Uh, that's a sign that Jesus says we should look to the heavens for our redemption draweth nigh. I've been in the path of totality. It, it was long ago. I was just a child and we were living on a farm and uh, all nature just went crazy when, when the sun no longer shone. It was amazing how the animals reacted, the birds and the, all the, the farm animals just were uh, stunned that this was going on and they went into a panic. So if, if you're in the path of totality, look around you as, as it's happening and just see how nature responds to it. Realize though that the moon is a sign, the sun is a sign, the days are a sign, and in that the day draweth nigh for our redemption.